Practice has been very good this week. Um, we worked on a, a few attacking pieces that, that we needed a bit of improvement from the weekend. Um, obviously, we've played uh, Mississippi College uh, once before, so we're, we're looking to, to build on the performance that we had against them um, some time ago. But but it seems like ages ago that, that we played, and a lot has happened within our season in terms of our progress as a team. Um, and we're looking to get a positive uh, result in, in the game on Friday, and hopefully we can play some good attacking soccer. We're hoping that our team can be resilient over the remaining games of the season. You know, it's easy when the results aren't going in the way that you want um, to, to kind of make excuses or um, to not give the, the effort that's you know, inside of you. Um, so we're looking for a level of resiliency as we, as we go through the, the remaining portion of our schedule, trying to get as much out of each game as possible, whether it's a, it's a win or a draw, um, but certainly uh, get the best possible performance that we can from the group uh, as we go into the final segment of the season. Um, and then obviously we have the, the Classic on the Hill um, at, at the, the season's conclusion, you know, which is a good opportunity for the boys to, to get two more matches in and, and that, that postseason level of, uh, of experience that, that hopefully you know, we'll have in, in years to come. That particular game uh, was quite contentious. So I expect an even higher level of uh, attitude and effort um, from not only from them, but from us. Um, and, and I think it's going to be a very difficult game. They sit one spot above us in conference, uh, as well as our, our opponent on Sunday sits two above us. So um, I think this weekend is, is going to be a really good opportunity for us to compete and, and hopefully get some, some results at home.